Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs and more. So if you don't want to miss that, please make sure to subscribe. And today we are doing uh, testing Kiko foundations. I have three Kiko foundations and I'm going to test them out on my skin. And I hope that's something you might find interesting because if you're looking to buy a um, foundation and you don't know what foundation to buy, and you like Kiko, I'm hopefully going to make that decision easier. For testing foundations, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my skin. I have super oily skin. I also have a tendency to break out. So if you have a similar skin type, welcome. And if you don't have a skin type like mine, welcome anyway. <laughs> okay, so I have the Kiko Unlimited Foundation with SPS 15 in the shade Warm Rose. I have the Skin Tone Foundation in the shade Neutral 20. Then the last one I'm testing out is the Smart Hydrating Foundation in the shade Warm Rose. Okay, let's just test this out. This is the Kiko Unlimited Foundation. I really like the coverage of this. This is a long-lasting liquid foundation, perfect makeup all day long, SPS 15. Okay, so it doesn't tell you a lot, um, but it says it's long-lasting. I really like the finishing of this. You'll see. Let's just apply this first and then I'll just give you a little bit of my opinion. As you can tell, we have company today. Um, they decided to say hello. I also have one here and a little bit of some scarring here. Oh, yeah. By the way, it does look a little bit light for my skin at the moment, but this is because I'm using um, tinted uh, sunscreen, tinted sunscreen. And even though I asked the lady, in the store if it was light enough for my skin she said yes but it's not so i always look tan which is kind of a good thing honestly but yeah so that's why it doesn't look perfect for my skin but it is this uh, shape i mean Okay, I'm going to go a little bit closer so you can see my skin texture and all those beautiful things that I don't want to show anyone but I'm going to show you because, I mean, I don't want you to waste your money, so yeah, okay. As you can tell, it didn't completely cover up my pimples, but it made them a little bit less red. I really like the coverage of this foundation because... Oh, sorry, hi there. <laughs> I really like the finishing of this foundation. It looks very skin-like. It dries down, which is uh, something I really like in a foundation. Um, it sets a little bit on my smile lines, but every single foundation does that. I do have very strong smile lines. Um, I mean, it's just one of my favorite if not my favorite Kiko foundation. Um, it evens everything out. It's very, it's medium coverage, but it looks beautiful on the skin. I don't know, I just really like it. Also, it does last a long time because I got this when I was working in um, a store and I was working full time and I wanted something that really stayed on and it did. Obviously, throughout the day, you would get a little bit shiny uh, around especially around the t-zone but that's normal every single foundation is going to do that um but yeah overall i really like it okay now i'm going to remove this foundation and we are just moving on to the next one the next one is going to be the smart hydrating foundation this is my most recent foundation from kiko i only use this once i got this last week this week sometime around this week, I don't know. I don't even know what day is it today. I'm just, I'm lost at the moment. I don't think I said anything, but I'm going to use my makeup sponge because this is my favorite tool to apply my foundation. I think it gives the most beautiful finishing and it's the thing I always use. So I think it would be better to use this because I could use a brush, but I don't think that would be realistic to give my opinion about, you know, a foundation that I applied with something I wouldn't use on everyday basis. I think this shade, even though it's the same shade, it's a little bit lighter than 
in the other foundation but because this is a hydrating foundation i think this is going to be a little bit more on the light coverage side of things so it's going to blend out in my skin um better with my like actual skin shape if that even makes sense it's glowy and it's not like drying down but i think i'm just going to let it be there for a while before i give my opinion or my review on this it says fluid foundation with moisturizing softening ingredients for a flawless complexion all day long okay this is half the price of the other ones this is their cheapest foundation it's 7.99 euros i think I got this with an extra 30% off. I think this is good. It's light coverage, light to medium coverage. It's comfortable on the skin. It's a little bit heavier than this one, I would say. Uh, if you're on the budget, it's good. Now let's remove my foundation once again because my skin already loves me so much. <laughs> I'm back and the last foundation of today's video is the Skin Tone Foundation SPS 15 Neutral 20 and it claims to be highlighting liquid foundation, shake gently before use, okay. This is the most liquidy foundation of these three and I just love how liquidy this is. I just love, 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 love liquid, like very liquid foundations. Uh, but as you can tell, this is not my shade at all. Um, normally, I can still get away with this because I always mix this up with my lightening shade adjusting drops from the body shop. And I'm going to sneeze. But yeah, for the sake of today's video, I'm not going to mix this up with anything. And I'm just going to put this on my face like it is. Viva! Maybe I think I'll try using my hands on this side. Um, so we can see if it makes any difference. In terms of not wasting product. But I just love this foundation. I love how glowy how healthy, how thin it is um, if it was my shade like everyday not tan or anything shade I would just live in this foundation I think um, this is more of a sheer coverage as you can tell oh, I don't like using my hands as you can tell, this is a very sheer light coverage but it just sits on the skin so beautifully it's setting down a little bit more compared to the smart one but i don't think this is going to set like completely or dry down completely or as much as the unlimited one i really like this it makes everything more even it makes the skin look super healthy, it's very thin, very comfortable. Now I'm just going to do the rest of my face because I really hate seeing myself like that on the viewfinder, it just looks so weird. And I'll be back to give you my final review on the foundations. Okay, okay, I'm back and it's time to do my final review. So if you're looking to get something medium to full coverage and that lasts all day, I would recommend you to try the Unlimited foundation. If you're looking for something very summery, very sheer, very glowy, I would say go for the skin tone one. And if you're on a budget and you're looking somewhere in the middle, um, and if your skin is more on the normal side, I would say go for the smart one. But yeah, I this is the final final. This is a final makeup look with the um, skin tone foundation and I just love how my skin looks in this. I just love it. Very natural, very light, 
um, very skin-like. Okay, and this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you did, please make sure to like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more of these type of videos. And I'll see you very, very soon on my next one. Bye!